Aspen Heises. Welcome to your first simulation, prepared by Chemical Engineering Guy. Have you ever wondered how chemical engineers model chemical processes and chemical plants? What happens or what if scenarios? What will happen if we change a temperature of a process? What will happen if we change a type of unit operations? What will happen if we have a change in cost of raw materials? Or what will happen if we have a change of crude oil? If your guess is actually doing those changes in the chemical plant, well, you're wrong. Actually, it's done via software model, specifically Aspen Heises. So what are we going to cover in this quick course? We're going to see the component list, selecting a fluid package, manipulation of the flow sheet, adding common unit operations, running the simulation, displaying and analysis of the results. We start with the component list, one of the most important parts in which we select all the chemical components that we're going to use through all the simulation. We continue with the selection of the fluid package, which is nothing more than a set of rules on how we're going to be modeling the interactions between substances, such as thermodynamic interactions and transport properties. Afterwards, we continue with the addition of streams into the flow sheet. We also see how to fully specify a stream, adding conditions such as temperature, pressure, molar flow rate, mass flow rate. We also see how to set up the composition of the stream. We're also going to see how to add unit operations to the flow sheet. We're going to see first heat transfer units, such as a heater, cooler, or chiller. We continue with piping and hydraulics. Afterwards, pressure changers such as pumps and compressors. We continue with reactors, conversion reactor, equilibrium reactor, or Gibbs free energy reactor. And finally, separators, which are actually separation units, either a flash, distillation column, absorber, or boilers, and so on. After setting up our simulation, it's ready to run it. And finally, results and analysis. We're going to cover how to identify specific stream results, block results, and more importantly, what type of information we can find in the workbook. Sounds great, right? So what are you waiting for? Enroll now, and I'll see you in the course.